it's Derica, your hypno coach, and welcome to your hypno happy hour Tuesday, all about transformation. And today's topic is finding your purpose. So this has been just stewing in the collective, in the community of finding your purpose. And also, if you found your purpose, what is stopping me from like living full out in that purpose? Mm -hmm. Right. So there's those two things that we're going to dive into today. Um, and a bit of housekeeping just for before we get started. This is hypno happy hour. So do plan on being here, you know, at least till one o'clock until the top of the hour. That's about 45 minutes. Um, and so I just have to announce that because I have got some messages that usually live videos aren't going this long. And so, you know, people have things to do, but I'm, I'm not going to take in that belief. And I'm just going to say, this is your hypno happy hour. So plan to be here at least 45 minutes. This is your hour. Do not waste it. I want you to get comfortable, you know, shut your doors. If you have kiddos around, tell them don't bother you for a moment. <laughs> really See this moment as your moment to transform your mindset. This is an hour that you get to have at least once a week here, right? So block all the distractions out that if you can, hopefully you can get in your car, shut out your work door. I don't care what you got to do. Do it. Um, grab a pen and paper. So make sure you have your pen and paper handy. I always say go with blue pen if you're going to have any color pen, please do blue um, and your journaling paper. So, all right. Um, another little caveat to that. This is, I am a hypno coach. So sometimes we will do conscious coaching. Um, and not every time will I put you into that beautiful guide you into that napping state, which we might get into today. Or we might not, but I just want to set you up that regardless, be very comfortable, be open and here with me, be present. This is your moment. All right, so what I usually get, you guys, is what I found from myself, from everyone that, it, my family, my friends, just out in the community, people come to me in two places, one or two places. One place would be, um, Derica, I know that I'm destined for more, right? I know that I have greatness in me. Like there's, I can, I'm here to have a bigger, better life. I know this but I don't know what that is. <laughs> and so they're either there like, I know it, I can feel it, but what is it, right? And then there's that other side where they're like, okay, Derek, I got it. I know what my purpose is. It, you know, fuels me up. Like I know what it is. I know my goals, but there's something blocking me, right? There is just something there that is not allowing my purpose to follow through or fruit the way that I want it to, right? So we're first going to start out with, and, you know, as we begin, whether you can do it in the comments, whether you're going to do it over in the chat, over at Facebook, let me know what area, what area, are you still finding your purpose or is something blocking your purpose? Like, you know what it is, but you're getting blocked. So just type in, just do one, if it's finding you got to find, you feel like you're finding your purpose or two, you know what it is, but it's just not, it's not here all the way yet. Yeah. Blocked. Okay. Yeah. So seeing it come through, this is so good. Um, and no matter which one you're at, I really feel, I was just chatting with a beautiful special VIP that I have here on the zoom with me today about no matter where we're at, I feel like in any part of this conversation that you're here, this is synchronicity. You're going to translate what is just right for you. In every conversation you go into, someone's going to hear something in that same conversation. They'll hear something they need and you and I will take out something else we need. And so just, just know how powerful that translation is. So if you're at two, that's okay. We're still going to start with at one, finding your purpose. So get your pen ready. And for someone, someone, please help me out. If you're on Facebook, Facebook, I'm going to um, talk about a mindful activity. And this is three questions. So I'm going to ask if someone can type these questions into Facebook comments, if you can. Um, Kathy, if you can type them into this chat, uh, I would be so 
grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just so it's always here. So this mindful activity for finding your purpose. This is so valuable. I'm gonna get into why. So the first question, and I'll walk you through this, but the first question to type here is, what am I really good at? Number one, what am I really good at? Oh, that okay. You did it. Yeah. Number okay. two, <laughs> what have I been doing my whole life? What have I been doing my whole life? And then three, what lights me up? What lights me up? Yeah. So in a moment, I'm going to explain this, why they're so valuable, why they're so important for you to ask yourself these questions and how they're going to actually find your purpose. Your purpose is going to come out through you by answering these questions. So let me explain that first. I had so much of a life before I asked myself these three questions, but let, let me, I'll go through how I answer them. So number one, when I asked myself, what am I really good at? So I just sit there and this is what I want you guys to do. What am I really good at? I was asking, Derricka, what are you really good at? Something I'm really good at that I've always been good at since I far back as I can remember is I could see someone's block and know how to get them to break through. Like I, it was so crystal clear and easy for me. I could talk to someone in three words. I know, like I know where their block is and I go, boom, that's how you break through. Let's do it. Like I can do that. I've been so good at that. And then what have I been doing my whole life? I've been coaching. I have been coaching since I was two. You guys, literally, I would have people telling me like, Derek, okay, like calling me a coach at three because I just had this insight. So I would always be coaching because I was coaching so much. I remember at six, I was six years old when I talked someone off of the ledge of suicide. Wow. Six years old, right? So I have... Like I knew like, what have I been doing? Like my whole life, I've been coaching. <laughs> I've been coaching, I've been mentoring my whole life. So, and then what lights me up? When I ask her, what lights me up? Nothing lights me up more than seeing someone crush their goal. Seeing someone create their goal and dream. I mean, it's better than like cheesecake on a Sunday. Like I just get <laughs> so lit up inside, right? But even though I've been doing that my whole life and I knew that before I asked those questions, I was doing all sorts of trades in my life. I worked at a salon. You guys, I used to braid hair. <laughs> I, I was, a, I was a manager at a McDonald's restaurant. Wow. I did, uh, I did still, I was intake, you know, uh, uh, office work, different office settings. I worked in medical settings. I did health education. I mean, I was all over the place. Who is feeling me right now? Yep. Yes. We do so many things because we don't ask these questions. We don't sit with ourselves and allow that guidance that is there. Your purpose, your passion, believe me, it's there. It's been with you your whole life. Mm -hmm. But when we don't have clarity on that, we don't sit and we don't like bring it to the forefront of our conscious, we're, we're like stumbling. We're going through trying to figure out something that's already there. So we go on all these different trades. We try and we try and we stop and we try and we stop and we, we just, you know, you get what I'm saying? That old song and dance, it keeps happening. So take a moment right here. You've got the questions, Kathy, thank you for putting those up there. You've got the questions on live, on Facebook, write them down. I'm gonna give us all just a few minutes here and whether i want you to replay and do this later too but try it out with me quiet your mind quiet your mind and we're not asking the logic we're asking your your source your soul your guidance what am i really good at and just start writing don't judge it guys don't get in your head <laughs> don't get too logical. Don't overthink this. Even if it's cleaning, write that. I don't care. It's awesome. Just write, just start writing. It could be a few, just a few things. What am I really good at? OK, 
Okay, just letting that kind of pour through you. Blim, you can always work on this um, after our happy hour too. And then ask yourself number two, what have I been doing my whole life? Have you been wanting to make people feel better? Have you been into um, like herbology? Have you been into energy? Have you been into just planet stuff? Right? Have you been also into crystals? Have you been into art? Have you been into like, what have you been doing your whole life? Like I, I've been coaching my whole life, right? I'd love to be up talking my whole life. <laughs> that could be you, you know? What have you been doing your whole life? You can't turn it off. You're just so interested in it. It just keeps coming back into your life no matter what phase of life you're in, right? It's always like catches your interest. You just, you just love to do it. Something you would do like absolutely for free. What is that? You just love to do, it's a hobby. <clears throat> Number three, what lights you up? Is it something already on that list? Write it again. What lights you up? What makes you giddy? What gets you excited? You guys, this is the hardest question right here. It's the hardest one. What lights you up? So many of us have become so rigid or mundane, um, just so robot-like, just getting things done. And we never really ask that question or be in that space. So come on. What lights you up? What lights you up? Love it. Okay, so what lights you up? And here, here's what you're going to realize is that there's gonna be things that um, overlap. What, you know, what I noticed is that like they were very common, like what you've been doing your whole life also may light you up, right? What you're really good at also may light you up. So you're looking for a common thread. They can even almost be similar, right? So they can, some of you may already see what your purpose is. I'm feeling that some of you are already sitting there and you're like, oh my goodness, is this really a thing? <laughs> is this really my thing? Is this really my purpose in life? We, tw we, we tend to question things, right? And too good to be true. Or could I really, really do this thing? Well, yeah, I asked you if you've been doing it your whole life. Right? Yes, you can do this thing. Does it light you up? Yes. Yes. It's about, I, I, I really, really recommend you all, if it's not jumping out of your page right now, do just sit with it later on today while you're on this momentum and, and clarify, clarify it. I don't care how stupid it sounds. I don't care what your brain tries to make up that this is not a real profession or this is not a real hobby or people are gonna laugh at you or this is stupid. I don't, that stuff that the old programs may say mean nothing. They are nothing. That's old programming. We What lit you up right here, right now, what is coming through to you is your truth. That is your purpose. That is your passion. This is your job. Your dreams are your job. What continually keeps coming back to you? I don't care what you try to do, what you go to school for. You know, I worked for over a decade at a medical institute and I just always kept being pulled back to this. I would stress myself out because at the end of the day, I just kept thinking about transformation. I kept thinking about mindset. No matter what degree I had, no matter what I was making, no matter what retirement plan was going on, I just kept coming back to this. So this is what it is. And this is what feels so good. And it can be anything and everything you want it to be. So even if we started out as a hobby, I want you to do that darn thing all the time and let that bring you joy. Let that bring you just, that is living life fully right then and there. Take a course on it, get certified in it if you want. Do it just passion project on the side if you want. I don't care your age. I don't care the time. I don't care none of that. 
I want you to start something in it. Okay. Bring that blast it on your dream board. Put that purpose of yours up because that's what you came here to do. And that's what not just you need to do. It's what the world needs from you. Yeah. It's what the world needs from you. Even if it's cooking, it's the best chef, right? That's what the world is needing from you. So yes, live out that purpose. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll right into, you can stay with that. I feel there's good energy, good momentum to this. And I know you want to dive into it more and that's beautiful, but you'll have time for that. What we're going to do is speak into the area where, and to the beautiful souls. And as if you're, as yourself here, you, you've found, you know, your purpose, like, you know, it feels so good, but there's this block, which is a program. I'll speak more into that. You guys who know me know I speak programs, but there is something blocking you. You, you, you have this purpose, but you're like, it's not making a difference. It's not out there you know, transforming the world like I want to, or it's not a product on the shelf like I want it to be. It's not like here in like physical form like I want it to be. It's not, you know, like I get that. I so get that, you guys. That was my same story. Like how, what is transformation? How could I even bring that to anyone? What did that look like, right? Now I have a full on company doing this and living my whole life out in this, but I was once sitting there like, Ugh. I'm just gonna have to keep doing this on the weekends because <laughs> I don't know how to do this thing. I don't know how to bring it out. I don't know how to really change people, right? I didn't know how to reach people. So it's okay. So I'm saying it doesn't matter where you're at, but here's that mindful technique. This will be the second portion. So you found your purpose, but, but it's just not happening. You just aren't being able to live it out all the time and be able to make that difference or have the things you want. So you're being blocked. You're legitimately being blocked. I'm serious. There's something that is really blocking you. And it's, it's a program. It's synopsis. It's neural pathways in your mind that are keeping you from doing what it needs, what it takes to have that baby fruit. So I, I for the mindful technique, Kathy, if you could write this one in for me, and on Facebook, I'm sorry, I can't see you. Thank you for writing it in for me over there. Um, just you quiet your mind and you, uh, your intention is set that you've got your purpose. Now, what is stopping me? You ask that question. What is stopping me? And let it flow your soul. Believe me, your, your biggest, greatest, most powerful best friend is right within you. And you are going to hear that guidance. You're going to clearly know it's boom, 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 X, Y, Z. It's going to be, I'm too afraid. I'm afraid people are going to laugh at me. I'm afraid I'm going to fail. I'm afraid of success. I'm afraid that it's, it's just not going to happen for me. I'm afraid that, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into this and it isn't going to happen. I'm afraid that it's just a stupid idea. I'm afraid that no one will want to do this with me, right? What is stopping you? Write that down. Please seize this moment because that, that little, mm, I just want to knock it out for you right now. That little thing that's been there for so long, for way too long, that little story, AKA program is what's stopping you. Nothing else is stopping you. You were born creative, a powerful creation here on this versatile, uh, nourishing, beautiful, creative, powerful, magical planet that is here to literally bring forth all of your purposes, all of your creations. Everything is here for you. There is nothing outside of you stopping you. Everything outside of you is here to help you, not hinder you. And so it's all here. It is all those limiting beliefs, AKA programs <laughs> that are stopping your purpose from being as big as you know, it can be. Are you feeling me? You hearing me on this? So 
And I've seen it like this. You can be aware, so self-aware in this moment and say, oh my goodness, it's this darn thing. I keep telling myself this little thing and crush it right now and walk off this live and go to the next step of your purpose and live it out and have it and taste it and touch it and feel it. I've seen it. I've lived it in my own life. 12 years ago, I was homeless with no, 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 I have no idea what my purpose was. I had nothing in my life but struggle and pain. So I know that you can quickly find out what's blocking you and break through it. And right here, right now with me and you, we're doing this. You got it down. Who is, who is, I always speak into bravery and courage because that's what it takes to create your goals and dreams. A bit of courage. That's all you need. Courage. Who is courageous enough to write in what's stopping you? And you could do that anywhere. You could share it with us. Cause I'm telling you, if it's yours, it's, it's going to be others as well. What is stopping you? As we get that out of our system, oh, it's night and day. You guys, you'll literally feel that vibrational shift in your being. You'll feel it and you'll just have this sense of knowingness. Oh my goodness. It's releasing from my being, from my mind. It's no longer a brick wall. It's no longer stopping me because it was ridiculous. And now I know how, and now I know the next story to tell myself because I can close that chapter. So yes, put that up. And, and, and those of you who are courageous and you're feeling this, you're on Facebook, know that I do read every single comment and I will put power to every single comment over there. So I love that we're going to do what's right here and coming up. Love it. I perform my purpose on a small level, but I want to do it a big way, but I am not. Let's feel it. What was that program? Let's see. I am not receiving divine messages to share with others. Okay. You feel like you're not receiving the divine messages to share with others. Yes. That's a good one. You know, I feel a lot of us understand what that block feels like. You want to share. We're all powerful. We all have int intuition and wisdom to share every single one of us. And then you go to speak it or you feel like it doesn't come out right. Or maybe it's not flowing the way, or maybe you're, um, you, you doubt or second guess the messages that are flowing through to you. Maybe you feel like you can't hear the messages. Is that what I'm picking up? So here's the deal that all goes back to quieting your mind, getting out of your head and dropping down to your heart. Cause I second guessed my purpose. I second guessed, would anyone really listen to what Derica has to say? If what is what, what I'm saying, even valuable, are people going to laugh at what I'm saying? Of course I thought that, of course I've gone through periods of my life where I couldn't even, um, hear my guidance. Um, but I was in my head. I was in the logic. I was definitely working outside the left side of the brain every time that happened. And I was, I wasn't into the fullness of who I am. Now, if you're someone who is blocked and you're using the word divine, like you are right now, Kathy, you already know what I'm going to say about alignment, drop into your source, drop into your heart and know that no matter where you are, there is a whole bunch of folks behind you. Okay. You can be five minutes ahead. You can be one chapter ahead of what some of all these other folks and you are their guide. You are their lead. You have a voice. We speak as humans for a reason. Do not go quiet. You let your voice out and your tribe will find you. There's people who find me that don't resonate with me. That's okay. They'll be back. No. <laughs> or they'll go off. It's okay. We are here to speak what's coming to our heart. So that's all about 
let's drop into the heart and know that the life you've lived, the wisdom you have, the information that's coming to you is more than enough and so good enough to be shared. And in fact, be okay with looking silly. You know how many times I look silly? I don't care. <laughs> be okay with looking silly because that's the human experience and that creates connection, authenticity, relationships. So do you feel that? Did you feel your heart open a bit? Did you feel that, that courage come through? The next step will be okay. I am here to share my message. And you're, and Kathy, she's my VIP. So we work together actually personally. She's one of my private specials. So we can also figure out the next step to that of where, um, where you're going to start getting that message out, which is so exciting. You guys, like once you have that clarity, it's like, oh, we're just savoring the next breadcrumbs that leads and leads and leads to this beautiful harvest of your purpose. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I am going to end on this conscious coaching with your dreams are your jobs. We are so programmed to thinking we have to, you know, have this nine to five and we have to work and we have to work for so long and work a certain place and work a certain amount of time and then retire. And we just have this whole job mindset, which is okay, but let's, let's shift it to let's, let's work for our dreams. Let's work for our purpose now. We've did time. <laughs> Let's work for our dreams. Let's work for our purpose. So those are your jobs. Okay. That's what you came here to do. All right. Uh, we have a few more moments here. So I would like to do a guided, let's do breath work today. Let's do a guided deep breath work where we drop into our heart. How about that? We drop into our heart, meaning we go into source. We go into alignment. That way you are receiving the impulses and action steps to your purpose versus the hamster wheel. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Versus the whole going and going and going and going and getting nothing, but actually creating the results of your purpose. So let's do the right action. And how we do that is getting into alignment. So, um, Yes, close your eyes. This is that moment where it's gonna be here for about five-ish minutes, maybe even 10 minutes, you guys. Give yourself 10 minutes for this complete recharge. Make yourself, make your body nice and comfortable. I want you to adjust, adjust your hips, adjust your back. You can turn off lights, you can turn the volume up or down, you can get a pillow. I want you to please do seize the moment of taking a minute here to adjust your bones, adjust the light, the sounds. Know that we are going to sink into the subconscious realm. The subconscious is the motherboard is the creator of your entire reality. So in here, as we go into that deep state of relaxation, which is hypnosis, your very natural state of being, we are gonna access greater, bigger parts of you. Tune in and power up your creative powers just by opening up to this moment relaxing and sinking down into your comfort so you can feel your body relax all of those bones and muscles your physical vehicle gets to park gets to drop and sink anchored down into the space that you're in and as you can feel your body just let go and ground, go ahead and bring all of your awareness, your attention into your powerful, 
breath of life. Your breath is what connects the source, the infinite power, the spirit that you are, connects it into operating your physical body. So this powerful breath is what awakens, is what gives signals of commands to the physical body and to this physical world that you're in. Realize the power that you hold through your breath. The connection of both dualities of both worlds of the entire universe sinking into this dimension, this body, this moment, this frequency, all through your breath. Taking that deep breath of fresh air into your lungs. And breathe out. Continue to slow your thoughts down by being present and thinking about your powerful breath. How this oxygen is entering your body giving your body life force, fuel and power, that clean oxygen entering the cells from the capillaries and flowing through your entire system, oxygenating the cells the life force that pumps through your body and every organ. You're realizing this gratitude for this power that you hold. You're thinking about the magnificence of your physical vehicle. How it gets you through this life how it's constantly providing for you, supporting you, and listening to every command that you give it. How it thrives and survives for you. How it heals and repairs for you. You're beginning to realize how magical your physical body is. You're realizing you are not your body, but it is something you have. It is something powerful that operates for you by you. And you get to go deeper into that breath of life. Sink deeper into who is operating this physical body. Sink in to the soul, to the infinite intelligence and wisdom, most powerful energetic force that exists that sinks down into the physical body and communicates. That is you. The most powerful force within this universe. You are God in walking form. You are the powers that be in walking, talking form that has slipped into this body. 
giving beautiful wishes and commands to this body. Remember who you are. Remember that you came here to create. You have goals and dreams and passions for a purpose, for a deep purpose and reason for being here. And in this space, as you're breathing and you may be elevating at this moment, having your energy, your aura is growing bigger and bigger your frequencies in which you attract are becoming stronger. Focusing on what you want. Focusing on what lights you up. What makes you happy. Just breathe. I see you in your happiness, in your glory, in your courage. I see you waking up with passion to pursue your purpose. Feel that energy, that knowingness alignment that is source that is source flooding your body this is your birthright this is how you create Be here in the deliciousness of this moment, feeling your joy resonate and pulsate through your entire being, swell your heart, feel your joy, feel how you're right where you're supposed to be. This is creation at its best. This is your true work. This is your true goal every day, is to sink in your source, sink into your alignment, feeling as good as you can possibly feel. And in this realm, repeat after me, I will do what my heart says. I will follow my bliss. I don't work. I do what I love. And I am having fun along the way. I am unstoppable. I am a creative force. Here to pursue my purpose. Yes, now take a deep breath coming all the way back up. Feeling that new breath of life come through as you adjust and you embody this new frequency, this new remembering, this new way of being, this is life, having fun. Go out in your day today 
doing all the things you get to do, but enjoy doing them. Decide what you're gonna do and not gonna do anymore. Align with that purpose, go for it. Every day, your dream is your job. All right, coming back up, I want you to slowly flutter your eyes, coming all the way back up. Coming in, coming back up into this moment. Wakey, wakey. Hello, good to see you back. That was beautiful. I honor you, I respect you, I love you. This was another beautiful space that was held here. So much transformation. If you guys like this, please do share it. If you want to go a little deeper in that, I do have my clarity calls available. Um, I'll drop it in the link so we can connect more. Share the video on Facebook if you like to have this right at your fingertips. And again, I read every comment. If you have anything you want to say or share or ask me, please do comment it there. And um, yes, go about your purpose today. Love you guys, and I'll see you on Tuesday. All right.